welcome to an exciting edition of Jeffrey Show Live. I'm your host, Jeffrey Taylor. Woo! And we've been doing views a little bit. We've been doing views. Oh, this is so hey. This is our I third mean, video. Why are y'all really so coming out? We appreciate you know, everything going on. They're not commenting, but y'all they're, not. They're, they're viewing that. Y'all, we see y'all licking. We just need y'all to talk a little bit. I want to talk about the episode with some people. I want to get a conversation wanna... going. Because Pooh is my girl. And, I don't know why. Y'all tell please in the comments tell Jill why why do he like food? Ask him. True, and God, I can tell you guys later on in this episode. But where can the people follow you? Follow me, you know. You see your girl Legs D M U A. I'm posting a whole lot more on that page. Some new makeup looks, some more tips for you guys. So please be following my page. Um, yeah, you know, to keep you updated. Tell us about the event you attended recently. Oh my gosh, so I actually got to meet one of the makeup artists that do makeup for Love and Hip Hop. Um, her name is Alex. Okay, plug. Right, she's amazing. She does amazing work. And, like, I feel like now since I met her, I can feel like, I feel like I know what look she's done. But, like, I don't know for sure, obviously. Because all her makeup is very natural looking. It's, like, very fresh. And that's what I really like about some, especially, uh, some people. People, this episode they did have a lot of fresh looks that I actually like. Okay. But yeah, the event was just about for Black Radiance. They um started a um YouTube channel and they have a new series called MUA Talks. So you guys go check that out by Black Radiance. And I got to go to this pop up event that was for the um this new series that's coming forth and got to meet a lot of cool people and got a lot of free makeup, which is always a bless. Okay. And, so um, should I be on the page? Yeah. On my page, yeah. yes, I'm gonna be doing some little. I'm, I'm, I got some little stuff coming up for y'all. Just you know, I miss your Snapchat videos. They used to I'm be breaking super long, they but they're long. entertaining. I, I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning how to edit the stuff down. Okay. So I'm gonna try to bring it back in a in a new way okay. on my Instagram. So. Y'all be looking towards me. <laughs> you didn't even say Snapchat. You said Instagram. Because who really on Snapchat <laughs> these days? Is y'all really still on Snapchat, bro? Okay. Who really still on it? Okay. I'm just saying. You're coming from one of our favorite platforms. <laughs> I mean, I just don't really feel like we really own it no more. Like, I feel like Instagram is... is Come on the game right now. Oh, man. That's just my opinion. But anyway, let's go on to this episode. This is episode six. 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 They, get, they get through this episode. They get through. That's so good. It is good That's now. So good. Even though you was let down. This Y'all hype this episode <laughs> up. Mona and I hype this episode up for me. These commercials and these teas and the trailers had me really thinking the episode was going to be about the tea. But I it enjoyed not. it. I did enjoy it. It just went, it went as popping as I thought yeah, it was going to be. Good. Bring that right. excitement down. It, that's what I'm saying. It just wasn't. But one for the ages is what the name of this title episode was, and I guess it was one of something. It was. It was one the, sh for the show kicked off with KK and Monisi yes, in KK's house. Is that really her name, yeah. uh, Monisi? Is that what y'all know? It's, it's Monisi. What? I've really been calling the girl Monisi. <laughs> That's what Scrap said. Oh, her was name it was. I thought it was Monique. Oh, I thought it was a little nickname. Uh, well, tell anyway, us in the comments what it is. Right, tell me what her name is. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. You're then, convinced that this relationship is fake, though. Let's I just know get right it into it. Y'all know y'all seen that video that Monique posted on her and AD. And she just posted it. And they all laughing and booing up in the house, playing jokes on each other. And now she already talking about Scrap. Stop it. Monique is trying to get up out these contracts. Scrap has a lot going on in this episode <laughs> with the women. Like, Scrap got too it's much a money. lot, man. And with the same women. Same. But you know, he be in jail. Who else he gonna get? Anyway, <coughs> KK and Monique are making tacos <laughs> in the kitchen. All I see is somebody open up a can of tomatoes and somebody cut up a tomato. <laughs> I ain't seen no chicken. I ain't seen no beef. I ain't seen no tortilla nothing. Oh boy, they can't anyway, the whole <laughs> Anyway, they over there talking. I'm on these. Feel like she talked to KK about Scrap. Maybe she can get a little more understanding. 
why he's being truthful or whatever, which I don't understand. You need to just talk to the man. Why are you talking? The to communication is off. She said. Why the communication? So you need to talk to him about his communication. Why are you talking to his mother about his communication? Is what I don't understand. Because she feels like she's not getting through to him. Okay. Because some more bombs were but. dropped in that scene as well <laughs> with the communication. You good? I'm good. If he's allergies, y'all, oh, this Georgia weather. 57 one day, then 84 the next. It be raining out here, too. Raining? It's just too much. Had the sun shining. It was cold. I'm just... Bear with me with this episode, y'all. That's why I got my water with me. Um, But anyway... Because what Moniz, uh, well, Moniz actually drops a bomb on KK a little bit. She tells her about the situation that happened with Sierra. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, it was a sister that came the in. The sister came in and spilled that off red. Yeah, sister came in and spilled that off red. She said, babe, I'm finna, I'm finna keep my little chick. I'm finna send my little So she came in and told Moniz. Up uh, and now uh, that um you know Tierra put her hands on she and more had an issue at my house and because you know that made KK sick and she was like well you know I could send you back even further scrap and I don't even know why you why you be entertaining this girl and blase 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 and she said I'm gonna deal with Tierra on my own and so that's when you know that's and that's the first bomb mm -hmm. that Monique found out because Scrap did not tell her about the altercation that the happened. first bomb because <laughs> later Ooh, on we get some more. she gets another one but I do agree with KK I mean that motherly love of not wanting her son to go back to jail I mean Tierra mm -hmm. popped him I mean it's true but at the same time he grown and if he didn't love her around he would never got popped so it's like she keep telling him not to deal with Tierra, not to do. He keep dealing with her, so obviously he don't listen to what she say. So later on at the Blue Flames, <laughs> what? Who I can't make this up. Spot? Why are they meet up at the Blue up. Flame? Like I'm confused. Who said that was gonna be the meetup spot in the middle of the day, mind you? If y'all don't know, Blue Flame is a strip club here in Atlanta. <laughs> On the west side, right? Bankhead. So we trying to figure out why they meet in, in the middle. of... Of the day, it was like. <laughs> looked amazing in this. She scene. always looked good. That one thing, she is a very beautiful woman. She's very pretty. She looked amazing. She looks good all the time. She just crazy. Her hair be looking yeah. good. It be like lace wear. Cause, yeah, she looks. Cause some of the people, whew, cause KK's amazing. was. Come on, you talk about your elders. <laughs> I ain't talking about. I'm just saying she put stuff like that on TV. <laughs> I'm just commenting on what I see. Anyway, so she get out there. They met the blue flag <laughs> two cars apart. KK on one car. She on another car. I guess I guess it stops to talk about altercation, I guess. And she basically like, you know, you need to stop touching, putting your hands on my son. Because okay. he going to go back to jail. He keep away from your kid. She was like, I didn't. Tierra felt like she didn't put him in no risk of going back to jail. She was like, I didn't do any of that. I didn't do whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, and she came, was like, well, I'm going to stop you from doing it again. She was like, hi, KK. How? <laughs> How? How, Sway? How you going to do it? And being a little taunting the KK. Right. And then she was like, well, we ain't going to come to no agreement, so I'm out. I'm out. Bye. Uh, it's like Tierra said, it's their business at the end of the day. You know, honestly, it is like... That man gonna do what he want to, you know. Period. <laughs> He's wrong. Unfortunately, it was a good scene. In the awkward, I think Mona wanted some more, so that may be the last time we see Tier this season. To be honest, I think that was her exit. Probably. Well, she needs to leave. Oh man! But then we went to the Wing Shack, <laughs> where we had Akbar V, who looked amazing to me. She did look good in this scene, scene. <laughs> and that green hair was laid, baby. It really was. It, it, it was laid square. Lay swear. Like it was it was late. Period. And, and, she looked it good. I make it was on point. And Monisi wants to talk about the EP. <laughs> EP. This the joint imaginary EP. EP. Oh, what? How y'all having a joint EP and both of y'all is nobody? Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> So then Monisa's is trying to get on her about the EP because apparently Akbar ain't been doing her. Cause she's little raising little her work. son now. First of all, she need to be raising all five. <laughs> I'm just saying, she said that what she's trying to do. She talking about some Caribbean, which is her husband's <laughs> name. He he acting up at the house. She talks about once I thought I got the nice fancy apartment that was gonna be eat. I'm like, no, ma'am, you still have to be a mother. Like you can't just get a nice house and that be the end of it. And 
it's clear he doesn't see her as his mother. That's probably why he's acting out. And so she was like putting it on her son. That's why she ain't been getting what she need to get together for the EP. I'm glad that he stole her AirPods and then sold them and flipped them at school for it. Clearly, he don't, that clearly shows he has no respect for her oh my God. As, as a mother because she has not been there to raise him. He don't really know her. So to him, it's just like, yeah, you say you my mom and we living together, whatever, but I mean, are you really just it's like he, he can do that to a stranger? He died, he feel the hug. He's like, I don't really know you. You a stranger to me. He don't care. It's sad. It's sad, but like, she didn't even make it really seem that serious. Like, she, she wasn't, I don't know, to me, she didn't really seem that serious about it. Like, but she, you know, she was blaming at that, and she said she still got bullet fragments in her brain. <laughs> that stood so out to me. She, she, <laughs> she still, still got it all together. But she did tell her she got shot several times. She so, did. so she, but she said so. Sometimes she just can't get it together. Monique was just like, "Well, I get it, girl. I'm a mother too, but you need to communicate." Monique was talking about communication. communication. She was like, "Baby, I get that. I have my own son, and we go through our own stuff too. I get that." But what you need to do is you need to communicate those things with the easy big thing is communication. Mm -hmm. But Akbar V had a bomb to drop on Monice. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. Could you I appreciate you? it. Um, so yeah, Akbar V let her say, girl, your man is out here on these streets saying it. Apparently there's some video we didn't see. It. I'm mad we didn't see it on Instagram. I see no one. So I really, really feel like this you know, is not love true and making things up sometimes. Right. Remy Mom Brit. That black eye, baby. Woo! It's like, Ooh. You think she did it? Uh, I don't see her, especially her being a new mother and just having a baby. The golden I don't, baby. The golden you can't just child. Say that. You right. The golden child. <laughs> I don't see her risking it over Britney Taylor. I don't see it. She always said she would drag. <laughs> she said she drag raw. I don't think she gonna drag. She's not even that important. They're not on the same level. Anyway, we ain't talking about no two right now. That's, we can see that when we get back to New York. Because right. that's definitely gonna be part of next season. <laughs> um, so, Ever, let her know that Tommy. Tommy, and, Tommy? Yeah. He ain't Tommy. <laughs> she, said, she said that um, her and. Apparently, there's a video of her scrap kissing and making out and being booed up in the video. And Monique is like, oh. I definitely he did tell me about that. He definitely told me he was hanging out with her. Like I thought we was trying to see where this thing goes, but he got all these other eyes in the fire. Has a lot of eyes. Yeah, I said eyes, didn't I? Mm, I don't know. I don't know the phrasing. Anyway, but uh, yeah, he got shot. Got a lot of a lot of eyes in the fire. It, it's getting hot. It's burning up. I, I really think that Monique should be done with, you know, logically. Right. Like, like but she's like, like, no, so serious. I just think there's, like, no passion, and it seems a little fake to me. Because yeah. it is. <laughs> <Can> you? <laughs> she's been with 80 this whole time. I don't care what nobody says. Oh, my God. And with Tommy in the picture, we know KK had something to say about it. Right. <laughs> with oh, So, he called to his mom house, I guess. That was KK house. And, um... <laughs> Ooh, no, you know, you know, Monique be Airbnb and this stuff. Whoa! Anyway, he comes to the house and he, she's like, "Well, scrap, you gotta be careful, cause you know, cause KK, she's like, I've been to jail." <laughs> that was a bold <laughs> statement. I've been to jail. I mean, she had now. Oh, and so she, you halfway out, not all the way out. <laughs> right? She's like, "You halfway out. You're not all the way out yet, and mm. you can't be a." Affiliating yourself with other criminals and stuff, so you know what's going you know, on with Tommy. You and right, you know Tommy like that. She already done. Um, I guess I can't remember at this point. It's just so I don't much. know. This is the second time. Whatever she got arrested anyway. She was like, well, now she even even in more trouble, and you don't even get yourself attached to that, and you just keep putting yourself in harm's way. Like you got kids, you got to look out for, but just seeing like all the decisions that you're making are keeping you. You keep trying to keep yourself in jail longer. A mother and that's talk. what she well, that's what she was concerned about. So then his brothers come over, Saz. I finally remember his name, y'all. Hey, Dante. <laughs> well, I ain't never seen that brother. He didn't even look like the rest of them. Um where, where did his sister come from? We not about to act like that. She an extra. <laughs> You don't believe nothing. <laughs> I'm a skeptic to the end. I don't believe Jeez. none of it. I don't believe in none of it. Ooh. But she talking to them and they like, 
you know, what's going on? You called us over here, bruh. And he was like, I ain't really feeling that halfway house situation. I ain't going back to the halfway what? house. What? Who says that? <laughs> no, and legally, he gonna have to go back to Southway. But... Technically, he does not. Because Scrap lets everybody know the reason why he not going back to the halfway house. Because he a free man. Damn, he I want free. Free. <laughs> free like a slave of paper. Woo. He said he is That's a what free. Happy for my boy. I guess. What? Yeah. I mean, you I don't know how they try to have black men down in this. They, they do. He probably got a good behavior or something like that. <laughs> you know, yeah. He was at Oglethorpe. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know what? <laughs> He was a mess. Um, but I'm yeah, happy so we find out that then KK. I you wonder know. how that's gonna affect his storyline moving forward. Now that he can be in the clubs. Well, I mean, now he, he apparently they got some. They got some plans with him. But he on the front. <laughs> he was tired of credits. He's in the opening credits. <laughs> opening credits now, he baby. Was the so opening credits. They got big plans for him. He's not done this season. Baby. I mean, he, he got to make something in some way. He been in jail. I'm feeling the scrap storyline. It just seems a little fake to me. Some parts of it. Some parts, but some parts really do, you know, See, touch. They do seem genuine. Touchy. I mean, I'm surprised you're saying some parts, but you said the sister, Moniz. Okay. <laughs> you just have to go and I feel like the thing with his daddy was real. I think the thing with him and KK, that's real. I feel like KK did hide a lot of stuff from him that he did not know. He being in jail is real. Or uh, was in jail was real. <laughs> Him having him being there for his kids is real, so I do believe some parts of it. You know, let's say the best lies come from come with a little bit of truth. True, true, true. We have Spice storyline up next. That was talked about briefly. I really love this scene with Mimi, Rashida, Sierra, and my girl Pooh. Wow. <laughs> I love when they link up. I really wish Erica would have been there too, but yeah, we didn't really see much, Erica. but you know what? She been she. She was pregnant with twins, so she probably was sick and stuff. So she right. ain't got time to be like that. I love this scene. Sierra was one of my favorites at the scene. She just Sierra. give me what I needed. <laughs> Sierra is everybody at the table. She's me at the table. She's like, okay, but then what's going on? Like, <laughs> wait, they really happy? Then what happens is, because they started to talk about Spice. I don't know why Mimi is so, just so tied to this whole thing with Spice. It's like, girl, get your own storyline. You ain't got nothing else to talk about but Spice. Every scene she's talking about Spice and this black and practice thing. Let it grow and let it do what she want to do. So anyway, Mom need to bring it up. She brings it up again, Mimi. And she's like, well, Spice, she said that she's going to do this on her live video. And she was a white woman. This is white face. First of all, that's not even a thing. So when she said that, I was like, you're a dummy. Um... And so she was like, I can't believe she did that. And then, Roshi, you know, Rashida, she was like, well, I just don't understand. I don't even know why. <laughs> How you doing the voices? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. When I see it, that's what I think about. But uh, she was just like, you know, I don't know why Spice trying to do. I don't, she, Rashida's just like, I hope there's a purpose behind it. Is I think Rashida. But Spice thing, is telling the purpose about. constantly, but she just doesn't. It don't wanna... make sense though. <laughs> the, the point ain't. I making heard you smacking your teeth while we was watching the episode. I'm gonna lie. Because it ain't making no sense, but it also don't make no sense. They sitting there talking about it. it's like whatever she gonna do, she gonna do. So and Pooh and, and Sierra just kind of like shaking their head. They kind of go along with. They were like, well, well, hopefully we can talk to Spice about it and see her what she really looks like if this is really Spice's new look. Uh, Cause then we also brought up the fact that you know it takes a long time to get Which bleached that quickly. So she was saying that she was hoping it was makeup, or whatever. But they will see Spice at Carla's engagement party, and that brings back up who, who's still really salty that she ain't got no invitation, and she gonna hop up and say, "Well, y'all, what y'all think about if I crash our party?" <laughs> crash her party no that was a mess and so she was telling them the story again about she was like she started talking i stopped by her shop then i was like well what happened to us carla and carla talking about so she's trying to elevate herself or whatever and sierra was like mm, she said she she is trying to grow so yeah and then she was like then she was talking about my husband how he was old and i said well you had his and your and stuff like that. And they was like, uh-uh. Then Sierra was asking a million dollar question. She said, well, did y'all sleep together? 
What's the tea? What's the tea? What's really going on? What's the tea? And Spoo said, yes, they did sleep together or whatever. And Mimi and it was just kind of like, well, we believe, we, Mimi and I was like, well, we know Carla. And Carla has never been one to really shy away from her past and things she has done. They was like, normally when Carla do something, they bring it up to her. They, she be like, yeah, you know, I ain't my problem. But you, I did it. I did that. That was me. Uh -huh. But they feel like at this moment, you know, she ain't really doing that. So they kind of like on the fence about it. And they like, well, we don't. One, it seemed like they don't really kill if she did sleep with her husband. Facts. That's about it. And me, Mimi was saying that she's known Pooh for a long time. They showed this way throwback Thursday picture of them. Of her, <laughs> Carly, and Pooh. They're supposed to be old. Um... <laughs> And she's like, you know, Pooh has always lived a look on the edge, yeah. little, little frisky. So I could Ooh. foresee something like this happening. But she was like, I just feel like the Carl is the type of person she would just she would have just said it. Like she wouldn't be trying to hide it. Um, so they kind of like on the fence about it, and they just talking like, "Girl, now nah, if you're not invited, you just not invited. Stay your behind at home, Damn. and we'll just catch you up on it." Cause we won't want no missing this at Carla's party. But Pooh insisted on. She insisted mm -hmm. on trying to do something to mess up with Carla's party, so she meets up with Miss Shay. Matt. Before we get this Shay, let's talk about why Shay was even willing to do the deed for Pooh because she had a link up with Carly Red oh, where Carly did. Red really did it. <laughs> I mean, the thing, okay, so let's go to this thing. Because <laughs> Shay Matt, I, one of the places that she's been is um, 1145, which is uh, it's a club here. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice area. Really nice. It's really fancy. Um, I've never been to that place, but I've heard of it. But, um, so she, apparently Shay Mack has been, like, asked to be, like, a residential temporary DJ at this place. So the lady, lady was slay, too. Whoever that little girl was that worked there, little man, she, her was popping. Good, good. She good. said, I'm finna be on TV today, baby. I ain't finna come looking no type of ways. Like, look the other good. little extra people. Hmm. And so sis was looking good. She was like, well, this is Shay Mack. She gonna be your DJ. And Carl was looking at the girl like... Huh? Like, I, she had the, she had that little, um, uh, she had the squint, sister squint vibes, like, she was like, don't I know you? <laughs> don't I know you? And she was like, I don't know why Carla acted like you, because she knows she knows me, like, I know we wasn't the closest of friends, but we did know each other, like, we were friends, like, we was cool, we wasn't, like, cool, cool, but she hung around all the same people I was hanging around at that time, so it's not like she don't know me. Shay was a little butthurt that she wasn't embraced with full arms by Carly. <laughs> Um, Why do you think Carly was acting brand new though? But I don't think Carly was acting brand you think new. She just I think did it. because like everybody was saying, Shay Matt do look a whole lot different from the you last. You saw the flashback with you. No, no, no. When they came out with that flashback, I said, out of all the flashbacks y'all could have put on this girl. But she does look a whole lot better than the last time we saw on the show. She has lost a lot of weight. She looks good. She, her skin looks so much better. Like I don't know if she got rid of the tattoos or I don't just I just don't see them as much in her outfits. But like she do look a whole lot different. And I think she, Carla was just like, I know you. You know how you know somebody, but you forget not forget, but you you don't you. She knew her, but she didn't know her. Like, when somebody's a friend of a friend, you really don't remember the friend of your friend. Like, you just remember the friend. I think, like, Carly was just like, yeah, I do know you. Like, we used to kind of, like, whatever. It used to be back in the day. I guess she thought she was going to be embracing open arms, child. And Carly was like, but girl, I thought you was a rapper. And she was like, well, I do kind of still rap, but I produce my own beats now. And I put them in my DJ set, so I mix them. I mix my beats in with the music. And Carla said, baby, not at my party, you're not. <laughs> not tonight. And Shay kind of took offense at that and was like, like, why can't I do whatever? And she was like, because it's my party, which she should. Like, girl, you a DJ. Mm. And so Shay took that as a fence. She was like, she treat me like I'm the hell. <laughs> and I was like, all right. She said, feel like Jocelyn when Jocelyn was <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> I see when your maid outfit like you always do. <laughs> but. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Shay Mac said this. Like, what the hell, Lucy Goody? <laughs> Being able to play her music, feeling like Carly was like but the brand But she new. is a DJ. You supposed to, you play what they want you to play. You don't play what you want to play. <laughs> That's true. You get paid to play what people want to. But what clearly, Shay Mac don't have it all together because of what she did later she on. She don't. She doesn't have it all together. So she met up with Pooh, and because of this begrudgingness that she had, I like everybody friends and so. <laughs> right. Like and I'm like, how old are we? Like I don't like you. I don't like this person. You don't like this person. So we gonna be friends? Like that's some high school stuff to me. Y'all grown. And Pooh, it's not like you that young either. <laughs> so I'm like trying to figure out what she trying to come up for Carla. And I'm like, Pooh, you the same age? Like you act like you just so much younger. Like Shay is a little bit younger than both of y'all. Yeah, so young. she she meets up with her and they talking about Carly and how Carly is this and the dad and she fake and she blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And they talking and she was like, you know what? Since I can't go to the party, that Shay, I want Pooh tells Shay, I want you to be my little secret messenger. And I want you to bring a, a message to Carly from me. And she kind of declines it at first, but then Pooh was a little manipulative. She, and was. Got her to she was like, well, you know she deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? Why? And then she was like, yeah, she do deserve it because she be fat, whatever. She basically let her, this girl convince she her. She her aid. <laughs> she basically let her convince her that, to do this. And so she get this piece of paper. And that's this is, notarized. That's, that's notarized. <laughs> we still kind of don't really know what was in the paper. I had to go and do some investigated to figure out kind of what was on the paper so anyway so she gives her this little secret to reveal at the party and um and then right before we get to in college engagement party we go to spice tokyo and shikana in the studio and this is where she reveals um her black hypocrisy video yes to um, Tokyo and Shekinah. And after them both, after they both watched it, I think like the majority of us, um, they got it. They got where she was saying and where she was coming from with the makeup and stuff. And they was like, okay, so we get it. So we understand why you was doing live now. The right. video is really powerful. It's really good. And, um, you know, we, we really stand for what you're talking about. And <laughs> Shekinah and Tokyo tried to sort of... Um, find a middle ground with Spice, try to share their own personal stories, even though some of them really didn't, wasn't the same, it wasn't like the same impact, like she kind of was like, well, when I was a little girl, and I had short pigtails, folks used to pick on me, because my hair was short, because it wasn't long or whatever, curly like other other girls, so I said, when I got older, I was like, find me an Indian man, have me an Indian baby. And I was like, what? <laughs> girl, Shekano, I love her, but she, girl, stop it. I was like, girl, they got nothing to do with that. Because, you know, Shekano, she is like a little bit like brown, but I guess she's not really a dark skin, dark skin. And Tokyo is is more of the on the brown, brown side. And Tokyo was saying, you know, how she was little, um, she was cute little brown girl, but she had a lot of her friends with light skin, and she... Obviously, could tell that her teachers and different people in her life would treat her light skinned friends better than they would her. So, Tokyo's um, example was more along the lines of what, what Spice is talking about and going for. Even though, for Spice to say other people are being hypocritical, she kind of be a little hypocritical herself. Because mm. she's talking about the people, black people telling her to light her skin and do this with her hair, but you over here wearing a blue straight wig. What's the problem with that? It's the fact that, okay, if you're saying that, because like she was saying in that episode, the people were straightening their hair and stuff. All right. 
um they trying to make themselves they trying to make themselves look more European. Ain't you still doing that same thing by wearing straight wigs? If this is what you're saying, if that's what you're saying is people trying to push themselves to look white, but you wearing a straight blue wig, so you not you not doing like a non uh, uh, not that girl. You not wearing no afro. You not wearing nothing like that. You don't wear anything really that's kind of like African or culture on stage. Like I mean, like she, you know, she wears Jamaican colors and some more of that style. Sometimes it's like you always having a, a straight wig. You always got a whole bunch of makeup on. It's like okay, you telling everybody they should love this skin and love this skin and in. But I kind of feel like with you yourself, you saying other people being hip hop. Being um uh, having hip hop, uh, Lord, I can't talk. You said other people being hypocritical, and you yourself are being hypocritical too, is what I kind of feel. But I see the message that she was talking about. Right. But I'm just saying, if you if you gonna talk about us, you gotta put yourself in that too. And so she is telling them that in Tokyo, asked the question that we all still want to know. She was like, "Well, since you still gonna do it." <laughs> <laughs> And she and Spice still say she gonna go through with really bleaching her skin. But child, this been about a whole eight, nine months ago. So that girl ain't really gonna do that. Yeah, I'm glad she's throwing decided. line to get on the credit. So. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we had young Jock and Kendra who are still talking right before we get to Holly Red's engagement party. Yes. Kendra really wants to go. Do you think that she's validated and wanting to go? I think so. She been here long enough. <laughs> oh, she, she been dying in the hot hole. Oh my! It's time for her to come up to the surface. Oh my! She keeps trying to tell Josh. She's like, okay, well, I think she's showing him the dresses that she wants to wear to the party. She's like, okay, I think I want to wear this. What you think about this dress? How I'm looking? This, you know how we ladies do when we get, we trying to get primped and you know looking good to go on, to go out. And he's like, I'm kind of not feeling it. I kind of think I want to go. And she's like, well, uh-uh-uh, because you already said that we was going. <laughs> so you trying to backtrack now. You trying to get up out of it. Like, why all of a sudden you don't want to go no more? Like, when it comes to showcasing me and showing me love and affection, you want to back away from me or whatever. But I don't back away from you and... and in your way that you choose to be loved and be showered upon, this is my way. I want to be showered upon. I don't see why I can't get the same as you. I'm respecting your, basically she was saying, I'm respecting your love language and how you communicate your love. I'm telling you, this is my love language, and this is how you show me that you love me, and you're not doing that. And so I guess when when she put in those words, y'all were like, well, I can't really argue with her because she a lawyer. She going to win every time. So, Jock give in. And he ends up telling her the truth after she presses him. Ends up telling her the truth that there was some overlap between her and Carly. He's like, you know, we was first started talking and stuff. You know, me and Carly still, we was still talking, having little situations. And she was like, what's the situation? Like, what y'all, what you mean? And she really cannot get a straight answer out of job. I would have kept pushing till I got a straight answer. Um, but, cause situation, what that mean? Y'all just talking? Was y'all, was y'all, you know, smashing? Was y'all, what, what was going on? Was y'all just friends? What was going on? Because she said she brought up the trip. She's like, I know last year. She said she was, was y'all last year, y'all, when they went to Houston. That's how long she been with this man. And we ain't never known about her tonight. That's the problem. Anyway. You want to keep a relationship on the hush hush, the DL. What happened to her? It's the difference between we trying to keep this on the low and I'm just hiding you. Wow. Like, that don't make no sense. And she was like, I know he went on a trip to Houston. I know Carly went on that trip, but I didn't, she didn't think nothing ever. She didn't think nothing went down. He said nothing went down, so she didn't really think nothing about it. I don't know why she did it when on TV her man was looking single as a dollar bill out here. Mm. I would have, would not have let that fly, but who am I? Um, Just to be honest, I think that she... Her confessional look was bomb. She was really bomb. It looked good in that confessional. I just don't think that Jock is serious, unfortunately. Like, I just don't. But I will say this. Kendra seemed like the first woman that's been able to... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to use? Not tame, because that's not really the word. She's not... I feel like she's the first woman that Jock 
that I could see Jock really being serious about. Like, I feel like she, because she's not really, she's not really, she's very serious herself. Like, she's not really, like, fly by flus like the rest of these girls. Like, she don't be yelling and doing all this other, not that we've seen of yet. But, like, how the way she speaks to him, like, she speaks very direct and very like mature. Like, Faith Evans. Yeah, she really to the point. Like, I really feel like. This could be the girl for Jock if if it's okay, real. Sure. <laughs> Look, this is uh, real. We did not need. <laughs> I'll just say we can't trust these people, but you know she, I I like them together to be honest. But we'll see what to come. So anyway, so now we at Carla's um, engagement party. Before we get to the engagement, oh. I do want to get to the doctor visit. Oh, though. I forgot about that. Right before, she's keeping oh, something she keeping from her secret. fiance going well, into this engagement. Here you go. <laughs> We're not even on episode seven. I'm just saying. <laughs> but how did the Carly Red doctor visit go? Because it was a little emotional. It was. The um. So Carly, you know she. Her and Moa still trying to have their little boy. They want to have a little baby boy. Carly's first child? No. We all know that's not her first child. <laughs> We've established that. Um, she, so they're going to the doctor to basically, so what happens is with um, in vitro is that when a woman is ovulating, that's the best time to pull eggs. And so they're explaining to her, like, when she ovulates, that uh, how's going to go for them to pull uh, what they think will be a male egg. A male egg, or will produce a male, right. and so um, they're telling her how that goes or whatever. And her um, Mo go and to sign the paperwork for some stuff. Awkwardly, <laughs> yeah, it was a little awkward cause after they said that they told them like the chance of them getting getting a boy because basically they're doing what they call like designer baby, like to get the exact type of baby you like to pick or whatever. So, um, you know, he's telling them that, and he kind of just kind of falls silent after the doctor tells him, like, the real. And he's like, well, I'm going to go and sign this paperwork, and he gets up and leaves. And then that's when Carly reveals to the doctor, she's like, Doc, uh, I've been bleeding for, like, a month. Hmm. And obviously, that's not normal. I don't know why mm. she decides to come in a month later after she's been living this long mm. um but the daughter's like obviously that's not true that's not correct um so it might be it could be um an early uh miscarriage like like maybe carla was pregnant she didn't know and she is miscarrying um because that's what he was telling her if because she was telling him like well what if we you know have sex before you know y'all pull the egg or whatever and he was telling her well you carrying the baby naturally, um, is it could lead to some more complications being, you know, at at the age Carly is. Um, uh, it could lead to more complications for her and making her aware that, you know, she can carry a baby, but it's gonna it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bump and roll, basically. And um and so then when she told him about that, he was like, Well, we gonna have to check that out to check you out to see what's going on to make sure nothing is being ruptured or anything which which is very sensitive that that can happen and he was telling her that also it could be an early miscarriage and then we leave the scene off at that um and so but carly has not told any of this to her fiance like he has no clue that she has been bleeding for this long even though i feel like if you living with somebody he probably now that i tell him knows that something is going on with her because women when stuff like that be going on our body we're very hormonal we're very different so I like i pretty sure he knows something is up but like he just not telling her but I don't think that's something she should keep. Us, I think you should not be keeping something like that a secret from your fiance. Something like you trying to be with forever. I feel like you need to share and communicate that as soon as possible. Like especially something that's that nature, because like you don't know what it is. It could be life or death. Like what if you fall out all of a sudden and you bleeding and he don't know what's wrong with you. Right. Because he has no idea what's going on with you, or he don't even know what to tell. The paramedics when they get there, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a lot of stuff that it's just reasons that you need to be honest with your partner and you need to be open with them, especially so somebody you're trying to marry. I just feel like that's a little, you know, to me that was a little eye opener until 
a little bit of their relationship with the fact that she's be that this that's a big thing to keep a secret from somebody that you say that you love all your heart and that you want to be with for the rest of your life. Like I just I don't see why you would keep a bit secret like that. But that is the secret that Carla is holding in going into this engagement party. And then we find out next week that it looked like a man got a surprise for her too. Here you go. Here you go. But we're gonna go into this happy spot of the engagement party for the time it being. It was. It was cute. All our friends came out. They did. We got to see Spice. She didn't want to yeah. talk about her skin bleaching. Yeah, Tokyo deflated the question. Deflated the question. Well, Mimi wanted to bring it up. Again, that's what I'm saying. Mimi, find something else to talk about. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, and they was talking to Carly, saying, you know, you do think he going to be the one like do you really think this is gonna be the last time for you because you know like she kind of said carly chain me like she changed draws. oh man and so. carly and young jock are oh yeah oh, so man. uh <laughs> when jock get there he introduces kendra to carly carly it meets kendra she's like oh yeah you know how how you doing it you know i was talking to her she was like yeah you know it's nothing to worry about you know me and jock are like family Family. And Kendra was like, she paused for a moment and she was like, That's a stretch. <laughs> she was like, That's a stretch, but okay, girl, <laughs> that's cute, sis. Let me, me and my man finna walk off now. Right. And even Mo was like, Brothers and sisters? Where they come from? Where brothers and sisters, y'all is, cause yeah. that ain't how we get down. So, you know, they, he was a little suspect of the whole thing. But he was not suspect. He was just kind of like, all right, Carl, that's right. a little, that was a little weird. You was stretching. Everybody was shocked that Jock had a girl. Everybody like. was. As soon as they came up in the spot, the his shirt man. Talking. Oh, look, y'all Jock in the bed. Oh, who that girl, Jock? <laughs> Oh, who that is? Like, I'm like, dang, can they, can they sit down? I would have been giving my life. I said, this one made no sense. And then everybody turned around, breaking their neck. What's going on? I was like, Lord have mercy. It's oh, so nosy. Man. And so, um, and Carly and Mo matching in this little great value Versace they got on. Ain't really Versace. <laughs> the outfit was cute, though. Their decoration was really cute. Those pictures they had up in the little... She said yes. He popped the question. Like things that was really cute. The decorations look, did look cute. Um, but so then <laughs> Carly gets up and gives this touching little like speech to her man, saying, "Thank you, baby. Thank you for just accepting me for who I am, and you know, accepting me flaws and all, Beyonce." Um, tell, giving all these sweet nothings to her man and saying thank you to her friends for supporting me and just coming out and just rocking with you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Got this real heart suspect moment and then uh, get cut <laughs> by Miss Shay Mack, who self uh, self sabotaged herself to be honest because she gets on the mic and she was like. Yay, all right, everybody clap for Carla. All right, but Carla, I got a message from my friend that did get an invite. This is from Pooh. <laughs> I got this paper right here. Um, like, but she never got to say what was on the paper. She said she was 45. Apparently, the paper was that Carly was 45. <laughs> I don't see how that was a big reveal. We could have Googled that. Oh, man. I don't see what that has to do with a notary. Why had they been notarized? I'm a little lost. But hey, do what you will, do what you want. I don't know. <coughs> but before Shay could even really say what was on the paper, Carla is trying to throw a microphone at her. She's picking up everything, trying to throw it at her. Mo is holding her back. She's like, get that. She was like, get her escorted out. Get her out my party. Then she walking out. Spice throw a drink. I don't even know how she seen the girl. It landed dead aim on her right. too. She ain't even me. Spice don't play. Spice must been a um been a baseball honey because she I ain't that jump. Play. She said whoop and uh, hey. she threw that jump. Right. Nah. Hit smack hit smack right on the face mm. and you know. The security guards got it like this, taking her eyes. She's like, I don't even care. Y'all messing with the rock. And she talking all this foolies while she being squirted out of the party. 
So that was the end of the episode. And we're going to see the revelations and everything come out next week. But I was a little let down. I really thought she was really going to reveal like some big secret. Like, Carl, some. like Carla was still married. Yeah. Or she found something now. Like she, I don't know. Like she, maybe she went to jail. I don't know. I just thought it was going to be something more that she was 45. I'm like, who? First of all, what kind of high school girl stuff is this? Like, and that's what I'm saying. You talking about Carla's 45. Baby, you around the same age as Carla. What is you, 50? Like, jeez. And to me, Carla looked better than Pooh. So I'm just confused. Like, what was the point? Like, I just didn't get it. Like, I felt like if you really wanted to be a big boss and, like, make a scene, I feel like it would have just, if that's what you was trying to do, you should have just showed up yourself. Like, that, and Shay, you's a dummy. You need, you just said on that episode, you need a job. You need the money to get your career back up. And the first time you get your career back up, you do something in public and make yourself look messy and get yourself kicked out and ruin your coins? <laughs> Over somebody you said you don't even like? How that happen? How that work? Make it make sense, sis. Yeah. Cause it don't. Uh. And you look dumb. <laughs> Ooh, so this episode was very entertaining. It was entertaining. I can't wait to see next week's. You got, say that every year. <laughs> I do. Cause, let me tell you. Because Mona don't know how to make these teasers look good, okay? They make it look good that I'll be wanting to see what's going to happen this week. I'm excited about next I'm week as forward. well. It look like Mo finna have a, done had a we baby. We could have got a teaser if you would have watched Family Values. <laughs> Bitch, one, y'all not finna trick me <laughs> into watching T.I. show to Ooh. see a sneak peek of... Of love and hip hop. When I know you just gonna put it on your YouTube page later on this week. <laughs> like stop playing with me. They woke. <laughs> well, I already know that's what you gonna do, so don't do me. But apparently, it look like Mo don't even need no baby for Carla. Like he already done got one. <laughs> this is horrible. So and so when he come in, Carla talking about is it a girl or a boy? So I guess she ready to play stop mommy again. So she might not even worry about having a baby. Okay, look like that was going on. All right. Yeah. Um, that's really the biggest thing I've been mean, for the trailer for last week. Oh, Monique said scrap. She told me so. I thought I'd never feel this way again until I was until that person was, was gonna marry me. My girl was crying. Girl, stop on fake tears. Oh my god. These are one that one tear rolling down the cheek. I'm an actor. I know what the I know what the same tears look like. Okay. Okay, Juliet. <laughs> what can I say? I just do. But I mean, it was a good episode. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see the resolution of everything. And Shakana and Tokyo go talk to Shay Mac and be like, "Girl, you need to go apologize. You will let yourself get tricked to bamboos and foolishness. <laughs> you need to go to Carla and apologize, and you know, make up." Or whatever for what you did because they see that she looked it down. So, you know, that was it for this episode. And we will see you next week on Jeffrey, Jeffrey Show Live.